What is up, Internet? It is I, Caleb Black, bringing you more Sekiro information this time. It's not a Let's Play. It's a farm spot that I've been having some good success with and that I haven't seen a video done online yet about it. Uh, this takes place of uh, your second run through Ashina Castle. And after you get all of the incense stuff for uh, Mortal Severance. And... Uh, once you get to the main gate of the castle, you'll find a regular little bushi with a spear and a red dude. And uh, if you follow the method that is on your screen, sneak up on them and murder them, that will net you a total of 689 experience points and 74 sen. The whole operation to get from the idol to the, de the bad guys and then back takes a little less than 30 seconds, so within 30 minutes, you should be able to rack up 51,675 XP and 5,550 Sen. There is a secondary method that you can do if you get bored of the first one. This one is a bit more involved. You're taking on an additional three red guys and potentially more Bushi at the same time. But this one is less efficient, though... I do believe you have an increased chance of getting item drops, like, uh, you know, smithing materials and other things. Now, uh, using Method 2, it will net you about 35,711 experience points every 30 minutes, and 3,770 sen every 30 minutes. So, obviously, you're making less sen and less XP per 30 minute run, but you do get a better chance at picking up crafting materials and things like that, and more, you know, pellets and what have you. Uh, and this is without using any Mibu balloons. So if you have Mibu balloons and there's a particular crafting material that you're trying to farm for, this is an excellent spot to do it. And the best place uh, for grinding at this point in the game, in my opinion, it's the easiest, most efficient place that I've found at this point, without moving on further into the story. Now, um, if you are in need of divine confetti, you can also get those from the guys inside of the castle in the antechamber area. Um, but that's just, uh, you know, another helpful tip. Um, if you did enjoy these helpful little tips, then let me know. I might try and do some more, although um, there's probably more than enough information out there, but this is one of my favorite grind spots at this point in the game, and uh, it's it's great if you're trying to polish off a bunch of uh, upgrades to your shinobi tool. That's pretty much what I was using this for, and uh, you know, unlocking some abilities. And, you know, but the the quick way, the most efficient way, can get a little tedious. So I recommend switching them up, varying them. So that way, you don't get bored. But, you know, it's a lucrative and... Uh, it's good training for fighting guys who do a flurry of blows with the, the red guys. For the less efficient route. Or you could always accidentally screw up and end up having to fight mano a mano against a red guy anyway. But, your mileage may vary. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh... You know, if you did, like, share, subscribe, etc. And this is Caleb Black. Peace.